In my first video I showed you how to create a simple skeleton driven assembly. In this video I'm going to show you how we can create some simple iLogic rules in order to control the design parameters of that skeleton sketch from the assembly level. Now the first step in order to, um, to achieve this is to create a set of parameters in the assembly that match those in our skeleton sketch. Once we have those parameters created, we can create a simple rule in the assembly and we will then drive the parameters in our skeleton based on the parameters that exist in our assembly. So first I'm going to find the parameters in the reference and put them into our rule. Put an equal sign between them. And now I will find the equivalent parameters in our assembly and link them. Now for now we'll just save that. What we're going to do now to make sure that the skeleton sketch updates um, after we change these values, we're actually going to go into our belt guard itself and create a simple iLogic rule, which I will call update. And it's just basically going to update the drawing.
go back up to the top level. We'll edit our iologic rule in our assembly, for which we will create a, a, a string that will run the rule in our reference. And again, in this rule, we'll add another string to update when done. Now what we'll do is we'll create a form in our assembly. Where we will basically pull in all of our variables so that we can then edit them in a dialog box. We'll save our assembly. And now we can just simply hit our form and we can modify our belt guard using that form. That's all there is to it.